Okay, I've had some feedback about some specific problems in uh, Algebra 1106. And yeah, you know, story problems are challenging. So sometimes we need to see the cow a little better. So I'm going to help you see the cow on uh, pages 9 through 11. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to set up one problem for you, number three. And uh, hopefully that will help you in uh, solving the other problems here on page 11 and uh, continues to page 12. They're at the top and then you have a checkup. Okay. So um, pay, number, question number three says, how much money did a farmer borrow at 8% per year if at the end of four years he had repaid $7,392, which included the interest? So I just copied this formula. This is right from the previous page, page nine, that has the formula at the top in a gray box. So the amount is equal to the principal. So remember the principal is the the base amount, the amount you're borrowing, and then you are going to pay interest on that, okay? The interest is this formula here, the percent, which is a percentage rate, to, um, excuse me, the principal, times the rate, here we go, the rate is a percent, times the time, and the time is always in years, okay? So we don't know the principal. That's the thing we're solving for, okay? We know the rate is 8%. We know the time is four years. We know that the total amount repaid is 7,392. So if I plug this in, I get 7,392 equals P plus P times 0 0.8. Whoops, I did that wrong. I'm gonna put the decimal there, okay? 0 0.8 times the four, all right? Um, <clears throat> now, we gotta do a little bit of algebra here. We're gonna solve this. So four times 0 0.08 would actually be 0 0.32p plus p. Now here's something we just, you know, in the example problem doesn't explain this real well, so let me just talk about this. What is the coefficient? What is the number out front of the P if I don't see something there? Like this P has the decimal 0 0.32. What is the decimal, in, or what is the number in front of P? If there's nothing there, we can assume that it is 1. All right, so I'm going to just write the one there so that we can visualize it. Now, these are like terms. They're both P's, so I can add them and get 1.32P equals 7392, okay? So that's the trick right there that I think uh, some students might get stuck on is remembering that the P has a coefficient of 1. Once you add that, I mean, the last step is easy, okay? You're solving for P, so you're going to divide both sides. Sometimes I find the students um, always think that they have to divide by the number on the left. That's not true. You're dividing by whatever is being multiplied times the variable that you're solving for. So here, P is on the right, so I need to divide by 1.32. Do the same thing on the other side, okay? And then that will give you your final answer. So then you can finish this problem. Use those tips to help you. You're going to use the same formula. All right, always write the percent, even though I wrote it here as point, or excuse me, as 8%. In the problem, I have to write it as a decimal, 0 0.08, <clears throat> and then this coefficient, and then you can add them together, and then you'll get the correct answer when you're done. All right, so hopefully that helps to do uh, these problems here and take you through the checkout.